Hey, good morning, boys and girls. Um, it is the second week of Advent. We're just one week closer to celebrating the birth of Jesus for Christmas. And, and I, I get, I don't know about you, but I get really excited about this time of year. Um, I asked Miss Susan if we could start to decorate, and she said, no, let's wait a couple of days. But I went downstairs and I got out our box of Christmas decorations and we're just going to prepare, I told her. I'm just going to get ready for when it's time to decorate, but I can't help but dig through and I get so excited and so expectant. Um, when I was digging through this box, you know, um, I, I found my stocking. This is my stocking I've had since Miss Susan and I have been married. This is like, like 38 years old, but every Christmas it gets filled with all sorts of fun stuff. We just put fun stuff in our stockings. And, and, then, and then I found um, the top of our Christmas tree, um, the star that goes on top to remind us about the star of David and the light that shines forth. I get very excited and I think about getting our Christmas tree up and putting it up and getting all the lights and the decorations on. And we just have bags and bags and bags. Oh, here they are. We have bags of decorations, and, and all of these decorations, they have a story behind them from other Christmases. Like, this is my football Santa um, that my girls gave me one Christmas um, that hangs on our tree. But every, every ornament here has, this was one of our first Christmas ornaments when Susan and I got married. And every, everything has a story that's just so exciting. And, and then we think about presents, and then we think about candy, and we think about opening our gifts, and we think about all the great food. These are good things to expect. These are good things um, to get us excited. But we need to remember, um, there's a song that says, Come Thou Long Expected Jesus. And it's to remind us that um, we're not at Christmas yet. We're very close. Uh, this is the second Sunday of Advent, so uh, we would be lighting these two candles uh, for Advent. And we need to remember um, that all these things are good to be excited about and expect, but the most important thing that we need to be excited about and full of expectation is to remembering the miracle that God became a baby. God becomes human form in Jesus, born in a manger. Um, so that he could grow up and so he could skin his knee and so he could run and laugh and so he could learn just like you and I, just like you and I. Jesus, um, Jesus was born human so that we would know that he knows everything about us. He knows what it means to grow up. And it, this is an important thing to remember because Jesus was perfect human being but he was also perfect God. And as that, he becomes a special kind of king that we remember today. Um, Come thou long expected Jesus, born a child and yet a king, the song says. And so we remember today, we rejoice and we remember Christmas's past and we rejoice about what may happen this Christmas. But we also need to remember that 2,000 years ago, Jesus was born and life as the world knew it changed forever. It changed the whole world. And if that's true, then when Jesus comes back, which we also remember during this Advent season, it should change our lives today. Jesus will come again, and he's gonna rescue us from all our fears and all the sins, and he's gonna lift us up to be with him and his glorious throne forever. And that's really something to get excited about. Amen.